Okay, I believe we can get started. Welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today. This is the planning commission meeting for the 7th of February, 2023. Um, we will begin with a brief roll call to make sure that everybody's sound is working. Please unmute yourself and let us know that you're here. So let's get started. Uh, Commissioner Askey. Here. Great, thank you. Commissioner Blackwell. Nope. Commissioner Brown. Nope. Commissioner Burton Falk. Present. Thank you. Commissioner Dietrich. Nope. Commissioner Dick. Here. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Mingo. Here. Okay, and uh, Commissioner Mondor here, and Commissioner O'Neill. Here. Okay, great. So, so thank you everybody again. We are, there is no briefing portion of the planning commission meeting today. So we're moving directly into hearing and action. Uh, oh, this is the- Excuse me, chair. There's one briefing yes. item. My apologies, I must be, hold on. Oh, you're right. You're right. This is, I thought this was hearing an action. Sorry, I was going to move you guys straight through to approval. So, um, uh, yes, there's one item up for briefing. Um, this is the briefing portion of the planning commission meeting. In the briefing portion, we do not take public testimony. This is for initial questions or comments from the commission. Um, a reminder to presenters, clearly, clearly describe which slide you're presenting to to assist those who might be participating via audio. So we do have one item on a uh, briefing it is item A, DCP ZDR 2022-11908, address 626 Washington Place. It is a high wall sign for the FNB Tower in the Central Business District downtown neighborhood. Mr. Gregory. Good afternoon, commissioners. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Perfect. All right, uh, Bill, I see you on. Could you do a quick check before? Perfect. Sound check. Yeah. I can hear you loud and clear, so let's read in uh, the project right quick, and then we'll turn it over to you to do the presentation. So good afternoon, commissioners. Uh, on the agenda today is a high wall sign uh, for FMB Tower at 626 Washington Place. This is on the FMB Tower that's currently under construction in the lower hill. Um, the site is in the uh, SP11 lower hill, especially plan district. Uh, in subdistricts one and two, which the site is in, uh, high wall signs are permitted. Uh, so the the uh, the SB eleven sub sub districts one and two follow the GT uh, standards. So we so we're reviewing this as a project development plan following the GT standards, similar to if it was in the GT zoning district. Um, there were no uh, requests to the zoning board of adjustment for this case. Uh, the proposed sign the proposed sign was reviewed and approved by design staff. Design staff had no uh, comments for the project. The, the sign uh, held a development activities meeting on January 17th with the three uh, registered community organizations, the Hill District Collaborative, the Hill Community Development Corporation, and the Hill District Consensus Group. Uh, and a report will be included with the hearing and action report once it's been prepared. Um, and that's uh, all I have to say about that. So I'll turn it over to Bill uh, to walk us through this uh, project. Thank and you. Just before Bill starts, I'll be recusing on this application. Thanks. Terrific. Will, thank you for the setup. Um, actually, there was one more group, a fourth one, Uptown Partners, that sat in on our uh, review meeting, just for the record. Uh, it's Bill Colano from Colano Design here on behalf of FNB for four high wall signs that are atop their new building. Let's go ahead to the next slide. And to give context to uh, Will's setup in the upper right is just to orient us to see where the golden triangle is and where our building is in relationship. The, uh, below is the site where the building sits. The white rectangle is the building. And our image to the left is an enlargement to show uh, the orientation of the building, north, south, east, and west. And, uh, as we review these, we will start with the west elevation. Uh, that's at the bottom of the page. 
Uh, the south elevation is a longer facade. The east elevation is another short side. And the north elevation is a long side. We can go on to the next image. <clears throat> the city code allows us 2% of the facade. And these calculations at the bottom in red show you what the uh, facade square footage is and that we are uh, permitted by code a 996 square foot sign on the smallest facade. And so we are going to repeat signs of four uh, identical sizes on to wrap the top of the building. Uh, next slide. This is the other two remaining facades, again, alongside a short side. Next slide. The 996 square foot sign will consist of the FNB uh, logo mark. Uh, it's a, kind of an American flag element with some stars and shaking hands and the letters FNB. And the letters are approximately uh, 15 feet high and some change. And the letters are going to uh, use a day-night film and be blue by day and turn white by night. Next image. Uh, there is a very cool program that now, now allows us to uh, act like a bird, sit ourselves in the air and look out from the sign face. So here we are looking out at the sign face, looking toward the south side and Mount Washington. And so everybody that is in this photograph will be able to see us because we're the sign face. We're positioned where the sign face is. Uh, next image. And this uh, west view looking back shows the building at the end of the Liberty Bridge, uh, the height of the sign and the size of the letters uh, in the skyline. Next. And by night, we turn to white. Next image. A longer facade, same size sign, 996 square feet, uh, flush right on the building. Next, a view of this south elevation, and we're looking out on uh, PPG uh, Arena and, P and the uh, Mount Washington Duquesne University campus, and everybody that is within this photograph can see this south facing sign. Next image, view of the sign by day. This is from the Birmingham Bridge. And again, next slide, the letters will flip to white at night. Next image, another short facade. Uh, this is on the north elevation, same size. Next image. These are the people that can um, see it. This is actually, um, you can see it onto um, uh, PNC. PNC Park, and we're a bit blocked to go to Heinz Field. Next image. And this is from PNC Park, looking back at the uh, building in the context of the skyline. Next image. By night, the letters turn white. Next image. Last facade, another short one facing the east. Next image. These are the people that can see it, uh, primarily uh, oriented to the strip district and some of the entry roads uh, coming into the city. Next image. And this is from Bigelow Boulevard, looking back at the building by day and next image by night. Next image. The faces will have a flexible uh, stretched face on them. Uh, it's perforated and that's how we get, we get the effect of uh, blue by day 
And then at night, the perforations in the letter allow light to come through and turn it into a white light. Uh, we are requesting an RGB illumination to give us color changing capability in the F and, and the B only, so that it might become red for Valentine's Day and blue for St. Patrick's Day, along with the majority of the other uh, signs in the skyline. There is no illumination and the American flag element will always remain red, white, and blue and not change color. The uh, sign lighting uh, will be on a dimmer and will be in luminance levels uh, in uh, standard of the city uh, sign code. Next. This is our last slide and it shows the viewing distance from our uh, letter height in the FNB te text. And so if you kind of let your eye drill into the perimeter, it shows you that the letters, let's say on the north side are viewable from PNC Park, but won't quite be that visible from um, Akershore Stadium. And as we go around to the left side, we can see that we'll have some visibility from uh, Mount Washington and then a bit from uh, Oakland and looking into that uh, corridor. Uh, that is our presentation for today. Great. Thank you. At this time, we do not take public testimony. Are there questions or comments from the commission? No. Okay, thank you. We'll see you at the next meeting. Yep, thank you all. Okay, so that ends the briefing portion of our meeting and we now begin the hearing and action portion of our meeting. Hearing means that cases are presented for action by the Planning Commission and um, during the hearing portion of the meeting, we do take public testimony. Instructions will be given after the item is heard. Uh, at this time, um, let me go through our agenda because it is a bit abbreviated today. Uh, we have four items on the agenda, approval of commission minutes, B is correspondence, C is plan of lots, and D is director's report. You may notice that there are no general items for hearing, so this will be a short meeting today. Um, approval of commission minutes. Uh, commissioners, I do not believe we have received our minutes from the 24th of January. Am I correct? I, did, I looked through my records and did not see it. Okay, and I do believe that we did approve the items, or the minutes from the 10th of January at the previous meeting. I wonder if staff can confirm that. Yes. Basically, I do, okay, great. So we have nothing to approve under approval of commission minutes for this meeting. Um, that takes us to items of correspondence. And from my assessment, uh, we have not uh, received any items of correspondence for this meeting either. Okay. Great, which takes us to plan of lots, item C. Uh, we have five items under plan of lots and I will let Mr. Shepke, Oaks, do we have- Excuse me for a moment. Yes. yes. I, I do think that, you know, the agenda does list hearing and action as starting at 2 p.m. So I think we need to pause, do the PC break and come back for the plan uh, of lots at two o'clock. Okay, good point. <laughs> Yeah, too bad. Okay, thank you for that. Um, Apologies. We'll start it again, guys, and, uh, and and go through those items. So, okay, thank you, Mr. Kurnak. I'll see you all in fifteen minutes.
Okay, commissioners, we have about three minutes till we start the hearing portion of the meeting. Okay, commissioners, one more minute. Okay. Hello, commissioners. Welcome back. This is the hearing portion of the Planning Commission meeting for the 7th of February, 2023. Uh, we will go back and do another roll call and begin. Um, please unmute yourself and let us know if you're here. Commissioner Askey? Here. Commissioner Blackwell? Here. Commissioner Brown? Commissioner Burton Falk? Present. Uh, Commissioner Dietrich. Commissioner Dick. Here. Commissioner Mingo. Here. Commissioner Mondor. Here. Commissioner O'Neill. Here. Okay. Uh, this takes us to our agenda today. Commissioners, we have a shortened meeting. Uh, we have on our agenda four items, approval of commission minutes, correspondence, plan of lots, and director's report. Under approval of commission minutes, commissioners, we are in receipt of no commission minutes to be approved. So uh, we can move on to item B, which is items of correspondence. Commissioners, we are in receipt of no items of correspondence. So we can move on to item C, which is plan of lots. Mr. Shepke, are we batching any of these or can we batch them? Uh, we can batch all the um, all of the items today. Okay, great. And so we have five items under plan of lots, and I will let Mr. Shepke read those in. Sure. One moment while I bring up the agenda. So item number one on plan of lots is DCP lot 2023-0030 for Liberty Avenue, major subdivision two, strip district. Number two is DCP lot 2023-00064. Uh, Eureka, Allen, and Excelsior Streets, Minor Consolidation, Allentown. Item number three is DCP Lot 2023-00061, Osgood Street, Minor Consolidation, Perry South. 
Number four is DCP lot 2023-00081, Maryland Avenue, lot line revision, Shady Side. And item number five is DCP lot 2023-00077, Center Avenue, Liner Consolidation, Middle Hill. Um, so the first item is the Liberty Avenue consolidation. This is the consolidation of three parcels into two parcels. The proposed lot BR1 would have frontage on Liberty Avenue. It would be 246,827 square feet in area. The proposed lot C would have frontage on Liberty Avenue. It would be 493,829 square feet in area. Two structures are located on the subject property. And this is a major subdivision that was first reviewed by the Planning Commission on January 24th, 2023. The next item is the Eureka Osgood or Eureka Allen and Excelsior Street consolidation. This is the consolidation of nine parcels into eight parcels. The proposed lot one would have frontage on Eureka Street. It would be 2,264 square feet in area. Lot two would have frontage on Eureka Street. It would be 2,489 square feet in area. Lot three would have frontage on Allen Street. It would be 4,753 square feet in area. Lots four through eight would have frontage on Excelsior Street. Lot four would, be, would have uh, 2,900 square feet in area. Lot five would be 2,750 square feet in area. Lot six would be 3,100 square feet in area. Lot seven would be 2,474 square feet in area. Lot eight would be 200, Five, 2,526 square feet in area. Four houses are located on the subject property and the recommended motion is to approve the Grandview South Homes Consolidation. The next item is the um, Osgood Street Consolidation. This is the consolidation of three lots into one lot. The proposed lot would have frontage on Osgood Street and would be 17,080 square feet in area. The subject property is currently vacant and the recommended motion is to approve the Osgood consolidation. Um, the next item is the Maryland Avenue lot line revision. This is a lot line revision involving two parcels. The revised lot one would have frontage on Walnut Street and would be 3,693 square feet in area. Lot two would have frontage on Maryland Avenue and would be 3,391 square feet in avenue, or 3,391 square feet in area. No new parcels are created in this plan. Two houses are located on the subject property and the recommended motion is to approve the Maryland Avenue lot line revision. And the last item on, on plan of lots is the Center Avenue, um, one minute, minute I'll find it in my reports. The Center Avenue consolidation, this is the consolidation of three lots into one lot. The proposed lot would have frontage on Center Avenue and it would be 4,605 square feet in area. A two-story building is located on the subject property and the recommended motion is to approve the Center Avenue consolidation. And those are the plan of lots reports. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that. At this time, uh, we do take public testimony. Is there anyone who would like to speak with regards to this project? There are no hands raised. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, do you have any questions or comments regarding these applicants? Okay, hearing none, do I have a motion to approve items one through five as stated in our reports? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Askey. One second, I'm having technical issues here. Okay, we'll do a um, roll call vote. Commissioner Askey? Aye. Commissioner Blackwell? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Commissioner Burton Falk? Aye. Commissioner Dietrich? Commissioner Dick? Aye. Commissioner Mingo? Aye. Commissioner Mondor? Aye. And Commissioner O'Neill? Abstain. Okay, thank you. Okay, commissioners, that takes us to our last item, director's report. Is there a director's report? Uh, yes, uh, very brief, uh, just two items. Uh, we've had conversations with many of you around, um, you know, around, you know, your terms and, you know, and, and reappointing commissioners. Um, you know, we are meeting with the mayor's office uh, this week to have further discussions around that. 
to you know be able to give some clarity to all commissioners as to uh, next steps relative to uh, to you all in your terms. Uh, so just wanted to to you know since some of that may be things that we'll be following up with you between this and the next commission meeting, wanted to make sure that that was at your attention. Um, second, and I had made a brief note of this uh, at the last commission meeting, um, did reach out uh, to most of you to be able to schedule follow-ups follow -ups with the director uh, to start discussions as the city begins developing, uh, you know, kind of a process, uh, you know, for uh, the development of the comprehensive plan. So this was a budget item that was funded in the 2023 budget for the department. And so we are in the process of, you know, beginning the development of a scope, uh, want to be able to uh, understand the perspective of the commissioners. Uh, obviously, this is something that we had, you know, talked to commissioners about a couple of years ago, um, but want to want to revisit those discussions. Uh, also, in those discussions, be able to talk to commissioners around uh, their role in the comprehensive plan, both as a collective commission, but also as individual members uh, through the entire process. So from scope of work development to the planning process itself uh, to uh, moving forward and implementation of outcomes. So uh, really looking to, you know, to hopefully start that discussion soon. So, um, you know, so Amy, who is uh, the admin for the department, you know, will be reaching out uh, specifically to be able to find some time with with you all um, you know, individually or in small groups uh, to be able to, to start those conversations. So just wanted to put those two things on your radar as things that, you know, that staff will be communicating with you, um, you know, very likely between now and the next commission meeting. Great. Thank you very much for that update. Uh, Assistant Director Dash, are there questions, comments? Okay, then if not, then do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye.